Let us study a few major diseases of dairy animals now. The first one is mastitis. This bacterial disease can cause serious loss to the commercial usage of the milking animal. There are three major types of mastitis. The chance of this disease is more in high yielding crossbred cows. Swelling of the udder may also be accompanied by high fever. Milking gives severe pain to the cow and watery liquid or curdy milk comes out. Otherwise, tiny white particles are seen in the milk. Blood mixed or rose colored milk may also come out. The pathogen enters the udder through teeth and pores in unhygienic cattle shed and also in the case of incomplete milking. The udder muscle may turn black and start decaying if immediate and correct treatment is not given. Sometimes the affected part of the udder becomes useless permanently. Treat the mastitis with a competent veterinarian. Keep the flow of the cattle shed clean and dry always to prevent mastitis. Practice clean and complete milking. Foot and mouth is a contagious viral disease affecting all cleft hooved animals, both domestic and wild. High fever is the first symptom. In milking animals, the milk yield drops suddenly. The animal starts putting out saliva after two days. Vesicles appear in mouth, tongue, gums and corners of the thigh. Later on, vesicles open up and become ulcers, oozing blood. Hence, the animal stops taking off food and water and suffers with pain. We can hear sound like chap-chap from the mouth. Wounds appear in the cleft of the hooves and maggots develop soon. In severe cases, hooves may detach from the legs. Normally, the animal will not die due to FMD disease, but the production drops up to 30 to 50 percent. Animal takes many months for the complete recovery. This contagious viral disease spreads to other animals through saliva, discharged liquids, milk and moist air. There is no specific treatment for this disease except some symptomatic treatments. Separate the affected animal from the herd. Spray 2% solution of cooking soda to the wounds of the mouth and hooves. Applying honey to the mouth will give some relief from the pain. Give soft food like cooked ragi and jaggery water twice a day. Put soft green fodder. Apply neem oil to the wounds of the hooves to avoid maggots. Vaccinating all the animals yearly twice in January and July will prevent FMD. Hemorrhagic septicemia or HS is a contagious deadly respiratory disease caused by bacteria. This is common in cows, buffaloes, sheep and goat. Affected animal stops taking food and water suddenly and faces difficulty in breathing. Swelling of lower portion of the neck is seen. This pathogen enters the body of the animal through polluted food and water. Later on, the disease spreads to the other animals of the herd. High fever and putting out of saliva is seen. In severe cases, the animal may die due to breathing problems in 12 to 24 hours. Treat the affected animal immediately by a competent veterinarian. To prevent H's disease, vaccinate all the animals once in a year. Black cotta is also a deadly bacterial disease affecting the animals, normally during the onset of monsoon. It mostly attacks well-grown animals below two years of age. The pathogen enters the body of the animal through polluted food and the wounds on the body. High fever, no intake of food and water, limping and swelling of muscles of the limping leg, etc. are the symptoms. Pressing of the swollen muscle will produce char-char sound. The animal at this stage will die with pain within 12 to 24 hours. Treat the animal immediately. To prevent BQ disease, vaccinate all the animals yearly once.
Brucellosis is another contagious bacterial disease. It may spread to humans also by consuming raw milk from the affected animal or by the contact with the secretion of the animal. Pregnant animal affected with brucellosis will abort the calf by 6 to 7 months. Fetal membrane will not come out completely and starts decaying leading to the death of the animal. Separate the affected animal. Animal died due to brucellosis should be buried in a deep pit with lime powder and common salt. There is no effective medicine for the treatment of brucellosis till now. Vaccinate only the female calf against brucellosis only once in its lifetime at 6 to 9 months of its age. Milk fever is a physiological disorder affecting the cow within 72 hours of calving. High yielding aged cows, especially the Jersey cows, are affected more. Depletion of high amount of calcium from the body through milk or deficiency of calcium in the food is the reason. Putting out of the tongue from the mouth, getting disturbed even with little noise, losing body balance, shivering, kicking back legs, low body temperature etc are the symptoms of milk fever. The cow lay down on the ground with debility. In severe cases, the animal enters unconsciousness and dies within few hours. Call the doctor immediately. He will inject the calcium liquid directly into the blood vein. Most of the animals recover immediately after the treatment. To avoid milk fever, feed the pregnant cow with balanced nutrition and the required quantity of mineral mixture. Do not milk the cow completely immediately after calving. Give 150 grams of calcium powder or 100 ml of calcium liquid through food once just after calving and once more after 12 hours. Treating these costly animals is also costly after it is affected by the disease. In addition, the animal will suffer with loss of growth and production. Hence, vaccinate all the animals twice a year against contagious foot and mouth disease and once against HS and BQ diseases. Keep the cattle shed clean. Give clean bath daily to the animals to avoid ticks. Put deworming medicine twice a year. Maintain enough cross ventilation in the shed. Provide clean drinking water and feed the fodder without any fungal contamination. Leave the stall fed animals 2 hours a day for wandering in the paddock. Feed the animal with balanced cattle feed and fodder to keep it healthy. Do not bring sudden changes in the food. Keep up regular timing of various works on the dairy farm. Do not change the workers again and again. Personal cleanliness of the workers is also very important. Do not frighten the animals. Maintain calmness on the dairy farm. Growing trees around the farm will keep the premises cool. Treat the animals with a competent veterinarian immediately after noticing illness. It is better and safe to provide insurance coverage to these costly animals. General insurance companies extend this facility for the animals between 3 and 12 years of age. Putting this kind of tag is compulsory for the insured animal. Normally, the yearly insurance premium will be 4-5% to of the value of the animal. The company will pay the insurance amount if the insured animal dies within the period of insurance. The dairy farmer must depend on an expert veterinarian for complex health problems. However, it is better if he is aware of first aid and treatments for simple illnesses. There are many useful home remedies or ethno-veterinary practices for the purpose. Now, let us list the health-related materials to be kept always in a dairy farm. Potassium permanganate. Put two tinges of this crystal to one liter of water and use it for washing the wounds. Bleaching powder. Use this to clean drinking water at the rate of 10 grams for 1000 liters. It is useful even for cleaning floors of the cattle shed. Phenol, a germicide for cleaning the shed. Detol, 
a germicide for cleaning the udder. Turpentine oil. Use this to kill maggots in the wound. Iodine ointment. Useful for applying to wounds. Tetracycline tablets. Give two tablets twice a day in case of fever and diarrhea. Himalayan batisa. It is useful for indigestion. Put 50 grams of this powder in jaggery and give twice a day. Neem oil. Apply it for skin disease and for wounds to avoid maggots. Tick insecticide. Useful to kill ticks and other ectoparasites. Antibiotic ointment. Useful to apply on wounds. Camphor. Fill the camphor powder in the wound to avoid maggots.